Are you wondering how to create carousel posts on LinkedIn? If so, you are in the right place because I have just discovered an amazing LinkedIn carousel generator that I'm about to share with you. So let's dive in. All right, my love, the reason why I'm so, so excited about carousels right now is because they're performing better than any other content type on LinkedIn. Carousels get more views and engagement than text posts, images, and even videos. And the reason for this is because people just want to know what's on the next slide, what's on the next slide, what's on the next slide. So they keep on sliding and checking out your carousel, spending more time on your post, which again, for the algorithm means people must like your content. Now, I have to be honest with you, even though LinkedIn carousels are so freaking powerful, personally, I haven't made the most of them. And the reason for this is because it used to take me forever. And I mean forever to design a single carousel until I discovered this freaking amazing tool called AI carousels who are also the epic sponsors of this video. So without any further ado, let me share my screen with you and show you how you can actually create a LinkedIn carousel post within seconds. And yes, you heard me right. So let's get into it. Step number one for you is to click on a link down below in the description to open up AI carousels. And you can either get started completely for free by clicking this create carousel button or later on, when you fall in love with this tool, you can also get 15% off your first month with the code VENDI15. Once you're inside, you're gonna see something like this. Though before we play around with all the designs and there's so many epic variations, here are just a couple, I actually wanna move into step number two for you to upload your source content. Now, if you have no idea what in the world do I mean by source content, let me show you exactly what to do next. So you're gonna click this button called generate a carousel. And from here, you can either input your blog, a URL, a YouTube video for the AI carousel tool to extract all the information and help you generate a carousel from scratch. So in my case, I'm gonna head over to my website and I have this blog over here. So I'm gonna copy this entire thing, head back over into the tool and under text, I'm just going to paste a blog. Now, another epic feature you have over here is custom instructions. So you can basically say, what tone of voice do you want the carousel to have? So I'm gonna copy and paste these instructions where I basically say, please use simple and clear everyday language that a sixth grade student would understand. The brand has a relatable, supportive, and approachable tone of voice. Please avoid overused marketing terms and cliches. So any jargon that I typically personally don't like using. So those are the extra instructions. And by the way, this tool is powered by GPT-4, which I'm so, so thankful for to Fernando because we had a conversation. We actually recently switched the tool from 3.5 to 4 and those of you playing around with AI know the difference. So without any further ado, let's click that generate carousel button. The tool is going to take a couple of seconds to load and right now you can see that we have the first version, the first draft of our carousel. And we can quickly scroll through just to see the text. Though so we're about to return to this in a second. For now, our step number three is to change the design of your carousel. So this is where things get very exciting. Under color palette, you can actually play around different carousel styles. What I love about this is that you don't have to worry about the color pairings and what looks good with what. This tool already has the best possibilities created for you. I honestly love all the different options over here. So again, go ahead and pick the one that you like. And I actually think that the first one I had is very cute. Now, the next thing we can do is go under the typography. And here we can select what type of a text do we like. For example, I can click over here. You can see that the style is changing. Here's the first one. Again, so many different styles that you can play around with. One important thing I wanna highlight is that both under the colors, you can actually add a custom color. So if you have your own brand colors, this is where you would play around with them. For example, let's see what happens if I change the accent color to be my brand color, which is this blue. So again, this is now looking more like me. And one really cool button over here, you also have alternate colors, meaning the slides are changing just to make this more lively and exciting. I think in terms of the fonts, I sort of really liked what we had here. The Rubik one was very cute. I'm kind of feeling the vibe over here. And then under here, you can see different design elements. So if you click into that, you can see that we can change the background elements. So let me just show you right now what I mean. We can select the triangles over here. We could also select, let's say the gradient or round capsules. And you see it keeps changing the carousel within seconds. And of course, if you want to, you can actually remove the design elements, though I do want to keep them on. And I'm gonna be honest, I really like those bubbles. So I'm gonna go back to these bubbly blobs. <laughs> 
Now from here, we can play around with the slide counter. So the slide counter is this one, two, three, and I can either completely turn it off or I can turn it on and I would make it more round actually. I would prefer it to be round. And then here we go, personal and company info. So you can see here we have Fernando who is the owner and designer of this tool and we can just change this to our own name. So let me just quickly do that right now. And from here, we can of course upload our own headshot. So let me click that, select my picture so that it actually matches the name. And this is what we have. You can either have this on all slides or only on the very first and the last slide, which I personally prefer. Now, as I'm looking at this carousel, I feel like I want my blue to pop even more. So I'm gonna try this color that's popping a bit more and I might actually choose to have the same color throughout though in that case it's very important that we add some pictures to the carousel and that moves us into step number four which is tweaking the text and adding our own photos. All right my love I want to show you a couple of cool things if you ever want to rephrase something you're like you know what this is a good headline but I kind of want to see different options you can actually say improve writing or rephrase so let's just try improve writing and see what happens for us to maximize your LinkedIn influence. And again, I could select this again and rerun it to make sure it really sounds like me. Now, at any point, if you're like, you know what, I wanna see different variations of this carousel, you could always go back at the start, meaning you're gonna click generate carousel and you could change the custom instructions. So just for the sake of this, let me remove a lot of this um, custom text and click generate carousel one more time just to show you how differently it reacts when we give it different instructions. All right, so here's a version number two and I definitely wanna highlight that AI carousels is supposed to get your carousel 85% there. So there's always gonna be small tweaks you wanna make in the warning to really make it pop and sound like you. Now, a couple of other cool things I really want to show you is first of all, how do we add a photo here? So for example, on this slide, I'm talking about location, location, location. And I actually want to add the image showing what the headline on LinkedIn is. So over here, if I click on image and then over here, I'm going to click upload image. And I actually want to select this screenshot of a carousel. And I just realized actually, I don't want it to be full screen. Okay. I'm going to click text and image. I'm going to click over here, horizontal. There we go. And you see currently it's cropped off. So you want to untick this box so it's not scaled and you can see the entire image that you inputted. So now we have a very, I would say beautiful first slide. And then the next slide, it has an image now. So it's more lively. It's starting to come across and feel more like you. So let's look at the second slide here. I actually might choose to bald a couple of things, right? Just to make sure the formula really pops. So again, it's super easy to select something. You can either bald it, italic, there's bullet points. There's so many things you can do to make sure this is now fun. And can you see how incredibly easy it is to make any changes directly on your slide? And it still keeps on looking amazing. Another thing I want to show you is that you can easily add more slides if you need to. So for example, I'm going to click over here, add slide is going to duplicate the previous slide. And now you can simply change it to be whatever you need it to be. For example, your turn, and I'm going to paste the description here. And again, I actually want to add an image. I want it to be horizontal, not scaled, and I'm going to upload it very quickly to be this one right here. Now, again, if we quickly look at our carousel, it's looking very cute. I would say we probably need a few more images or again, we probably want to turn back on this color feature, which I guess really does make it pop. So I'm going to give it to Fernando. This does look better. I'm going to keep it this way. So step number five for us is to save the carousel, download it and upload it on LinkedIn. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and click this save and load progress, which you're going to be able to do once you're in a pro plan. So I'm going to click over here, save my file so I can return back to this and do any tweaks in the future. Should I choose to right now, we're going to click this download carousel. And what I want to remind you is that on LinkedIn carousels are actually called document posts. So we're about to upload a PDF, a document on LinkedIn, which is going to be displayed as a carousel. Now, why does LinkedIn call it documents? I don't quite know, though it works exactly the same. All right, Mela, we're back on LinkedIn and the way we upload a file is by clicking start a post and click this plus button, select add a document. Now I told you this is what they're called on LinkedIn. And then we're going to simply select the file, the PDF we just downloaded. So here is our carousel. You can skim uh, through it to make sure it's the correct one. Click open. We're going to need a document title. So I'm just going to say LinkedIn headline. 
We're gonna allow it to load for a couple of seconds. And when it's done, you're gonna simply click this done button. And you can see that we have our carousel ready. It's super cute. I might actually add a couple of more images here to make it even more me, to make it pop a little even more. Though besides that, you're gonna add a short copy behind it and your post, your carousel post is ready to be published. Now, if you're excited to no longer be spending hours designing carousels and you want to experiment and play around with a stool, I actually have a super yummy deal for you. I spoke to Fernando and he is offering you 15% off your very first month with a code Vendi15. So go ahead, use the code and see how truly simple creating carousels can be on LinkedIn. If you learned something new and found this video helpful, could you please, please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We have a big goal of achieving 100K subs on YouTube by the end of this year and I could so appreciate your support with this. And if you're curious to learn how to take a bunch of photos and create a carousel out of those, you definitely also wanna check out this video next where I break that down step by step. Thank you so, so much for being here and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye.